Little Red Riding Hood the Miniature Pincher In the heart of a forest lived a sweet little miniature pincher named Red. She was called so because of her shiny red collar. One day, her grandma, a wise old golden retriever, fell sick. Red decided to visit her, carrying a basket of dog biscuits. On her way, she met a cunning fox. He learned about her plan and hurried to grandma's house before Red could reach. He disguised himself as grandma and waited for Red. When Red arrived, she noticed something strange. Oh, Grandma, Red said, what big teeth you have. The fox smirked. All the better to eat these yummy biscuits. Just then, a group of squirrels, friends of Red, saw the fox through the window. They quickly gathered other forest animals, and together they chased the fox away, saving Red and Grandma. Red learned the importance of being cautious and not talking to strangers. She thanked her friends and shared the biscuits with them. Grandma recovered soon, and they all lived happily in the forest, knowing they could rely on each other. The moral of the story, always be careful with strangers, and friendship is a powerful force. The Three Little Miniature Pinchers once upon a time, there were three little miniature pinchers named Max, Bella, and Charlie. They decided to build their own homes in the heart of a sunny meadow. Max, the youngest, was a tad lazy. He built his house out of straw. It's so light and easy to carry, he said, wagging his tail. Bella, the middle pup, built hers out of sticks. She thought it was fun to fetch them from the woods. Charlie, the oldest and wisest, worked hard to build a house out of bricks. One day, a mischievous cat named Whiskers came to the meadow. She saw the straw house and with a devilish grin, pounced on it. Max's house toppled over. Max quickly ran to Bella's house. Whiskers followed him and with a leap and a bound, she knocked over the house of sticks as well. Max and Bella ran as fast as their little legs would carry them to Charlie's brick house. When Whiskers tried to knock over the brick house, she bounced off and landed on her bottom. She tried again and again, but the house stood firm. Defeated and tired, Whiskers finally gave up and slinked away. Max and Bella learned the importance of hard work from Charlie that day. They decided to build their new homes out of bricks, and they lived happily and safely ever after. And the moral of the story is, hard work pays off in the end, and safety is more important than ease or fun.